you. I, I mean, it's not you, it's me. I can't believe you just said that. Which one? Both. Linda, both. Kev, look, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I just don't want to be in a relationship right now. Yeah, I've, I've been in a relationship my entire life since I'm, I'm 12. And, okay, not 12, but you know what I'm saying. And I just, I think it's time that I, I see what it's like to be alone. You know, time before I do the marriage slash kid thing. Did you just say marriage slash kid thing? Kevin, I, I've just always had a boyfriend and I, I think I need to figure out why, you know? Is it because I'm, I'm afraid to be alone? Am I, am I just lucky? What? I, I care about you. I do. I, I, I'm hoping that we can... Oh, be... please, don't... Don't tell me you just want to be friends, Linda. Please, I have enough friends. I can't believe you don't want to be my friend. Why would I want to be your friend? I want to have sex with you. I want to be your friend. Oh, well, that... <laughs> that makes me feel better. Kevin, look... This is not how I plan to do this. So you don't want to have sex with me? <laughs> sex with me isn't good? No, sex with you is good. It just isn't great. I want to have great sex. <laughs> Best of luck with that. Well, that went well. I'm in the groove, I'm in the swing Not gonna move, not gonna change a thing Cause if I do, well I might lose this happy feeling It's so rare, it's so divine I have not a care on my mind so don't look at me wrong Or I might lose this happy feeling Did you do it? Can we get back to work, please? I don't think so. Not till you tell us if you did it. Come on, Chica. Bring it. Fine, I did it. Ah, yes! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you betting on my love life? Yeah. Well, of course. So are we on for a night? Who's our fourth? Mike from the deli. All right, well, you bring the beer uh -huh. and I'll bring the food, but not until after we hang the show. Now go. I got it. Thank you. You know it's good, right? You didn't love that guy, Chica. Have some fun now. Take it for a spin. What? Being single. See how it drives. You're not ready for the right guy. What's that supposed to mean? What it says, Chica. Hey, Pete, wait up. Yeah, give me a hand. Oh, just the man I wanted to see. How was your weekend? Perfect. Quiet. You know, being at the lake fishing is getting more and more attractive every weekend. Okay, what's this? Some new artist that I'm really digging. <laughs> what? Well, it's funny, but we used to use that word in the 70s without irony. Oh. No, I'll look at these tomorrow. I have to be at the Art Institute all evening. I think you have a good eye, Linda. You're gonna be my saving grace running this place when I retire. All I want is a long lunch break and to do the crossword in peace and quiet. Looks good. Boy, something's not right. I don't know about poker tonight. We got a lot of work to do. In fact, I think we need to switch the whole installation around. Now? No, Juan. After we get drunk and play poker. Yes, now. You know, I'm so glad you're not my woman, because your ass is bossy. Yeah, you got one bossy ass, Chica. Uh, really? I, well, I'm not kidding. You got them shoes on. Those are your bossy shoes. <laughs> are they turning you on, are they? Well... Are they high enough? Do you like well, the color? Can you do what you're told? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just gotta be right. Yeah, yeah, we know the drill. Where do you want it? Oh, one sec, that's me, guys. Yeah, let's, move, let's take this one first. Hey, let's put it down Hello? Where? Yeah, by the 
I guess this is she. Total shock. I mean, total. I was doing this undercover investigative article, so somehow I got a free mammogram and dragged Linda with me. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. My doctor said you're supposed to be over 40, but we lied. And then this? She has breast cancer? I mean, everybody knows someone who's had it. Actually, I don't. I, 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 um, I don't, I don't know anybody at all, except Linda. And she's my best friend. <clears throat> so I said, we deal. We've been through much worse. <laughs> yeah, she didn't buy that either. Do you have any idea how big a biopsy needle is? I, it's like this. I was so freaked out and then getting the results back. Are you sure you want to be in a crowded bar, Lynn? Yeah, I, I needed to get out of my house. What did the doctor say? It's not good. The doctor said I had something called microcalcifications. It's like tiny grains of salt throughout my breast. So you have to have the surgery. Yeah, apparently I'm lucky. Did you get a second opinion? I did. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be this way. I was supposed to be free. You had broken up with Jed, I broke up with Kevin. We were gonna be free together. Free and hot. You're gonna have to just go it alone. Okay. I can't let this take over my life. You were smiling at me. Was I? I think it was a twitch. Gonna buy you a drink? I already have a drink, but uh... If you want to give me your number, maybe I'll call you. Hmm. Your name is Jacques? Really? Oui. Phone moi? Uh. See? You still got the eat food? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see if I still have it with one boob. I'm going to see that doctor again tomorrow. I'm coming. Really? I would never let you go there alone. Ever. And we both know your mother won't be any help. I think if we just look to the wisdom of the Beatles to help us get through the storm. She was a cusp baby. Aries and Taurus. You get it. Fire and Earth. It's all about the power of positive thinking and lots of veggies. I feel like I'm in a country club. It's slippery. Hello, Linda. Dr. Rosenberg? Mm. Carla. Nice to meet you. Did he say Dr. Rosenati? We're in a cancer meeting. Well, the good news is, you're lucky. Funny. I'm not really feeling it. I'm sorry. I'm not making light of your illness. You have extensive DCIS with a small area of invasive cancer. English, por favor. Your breast cancer is stage one. Although the DCIS is widespread, the uh, invasive cancer is only a few millimeters now. Because of the extent of the cancer, you will remain at risk unless we perform a mastectomy. Now, if the surgery gets clear around the cancer and the cancer is not aggressive, chemotherapy, radiation will most likely not be necessary. But since your cancer is estrogen progesterone receptor positive, tamoxifen is recommended, which does have a few possible side effects. Commonly hot flashes, rarely blood clots, and... And? You should not get pregnant while you're on this medicine. Huh. Well, don't see that last one being a problem. You have to have sex to get pregnant, don't you? My recommendation is that we perform a skin-sparing mastectomy and begin the reconstruction at the same time. Oh, my God. <sighs> reconstruction of the breast I'm to have removed. Well, there are risks to all surgery, and recovery differs from patient to patient. You cannot have the reconstruction later. No. No, 
um, I'm just scared. And Dr. Portofino is a gifted reconstructive surgeon. I have every confidence in her. Can she get bigger boobs? <laughs> I'm sorry, she has no filter. Can I? Oh, well, because you only need reconstruction on one breast, you might want it to look the same as the other one. But... Good point. <laughs> you know you're going to get through this, right? I know you're scared, but you're in good hands. I'm very good. Don't even say it. Well, come on, please. Don't. I'm gonna let this take over my life. And I am calling Jacques, sexy, kind of French restaurant owner person. Here you go. Thanks. Linda. So glad you called. Great to see. Oh, great. French people like kissing. But you do not? No, I do. Maybe after lunch. We'll see about that. I would love, love to take you there. It's beautiful. A two-hour drive, a lovely lake. We could uh, make a picnic, maybe this weekend. I'm kind of busy this weekend. I'm having some surgery. Hmm. It's nothing serious, I hope. It's kind of serious. I have breast cancer. I... I can't believe I just said that. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't even do this. I don't know what to say. I don't know either. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, uh, I guess we're going to have to reschedule that picnic. Mm. It's a test. I'm not testing you. I don't even know you. Not exactly. You are testing yourself. You are attempting to, uh, come on, the, uh, gauge the reaction of a man. You're not really testing me, you don't really know me. But you are testing men, en général. Excuse New me, men. sir. You're ah, yes. You French are smart. Yeah, it's a soft thing. <laughs> and Linda, I don't scare you. I wish I could say the same. A breast is a beautiful thing. Easy for her to say. Your reconstructed breast will never be perfect, but you have a nice cosmetic result. The nipple, however, will come later. I'll be nippleless. At first. But you can have nipple reconstruction later if you choose. You can also buy prosthetic nipples for cosmetic purposes and place them inside your bra for a look that's a bit more... Human? Natural. <laughs> look, um, I'm a little new at this cancer thing. Could you... Explain to me how it works. Sure. During your mastectomy surgery, I'll insert what we call an expander under the skin. This device will stretch the tissue and make room for your implant. I expand it. That is, I fill it with saline a little bit every few weeks, depending upon how you're healing, how the tissue stretches, how much discomfort you're experiencing. Sounds fun. going to be a little out of it. Where am I? Did David Cassidy call about the plant? A little out of it? She's high as a kite. She used to love the Partridge family. Between the anesthesia and the pain medication, it's a trip. Oh, I remember tripping. <laughs> what? I, I do. It's not that kind of trip. Oh. I said, where am I and who's tripping? Linda, Linda, you're at the hospital. You had your surgery? Oh. Yeah, he looked so cute in those scrubs. Oh, he had the best hair. Did I just say that out loud? Yeah. Thank God she hasn't lost her sense of humor. <laughs> just 
breast to breast. Call me Uno. <laughs> Linda, surgery went very well, and preliminary pathology shows no lymph node involvement. So I think we got it all. See, honey, you're going to be fine. How do you know? It all happened so fast. I didn't have time to, to breathe or to think. Before the surgery, I was just pretending that it wasn't even real. I was going to experience life, take it for a spin. I mean, I'm grateful that I'm OK for now, but I can't help but think, what if it comes back? What if maybe I'm not so lucky? And honestly, I mean, I know it sounds shallow, but is anyone ever going to want to sleep with me again? not get a sweater over my head. What can I do? You can tell me, Carla, why is this happening to me? Was I, I, I mean to orphan children in a previous life? Did I not give enough to charity last year? I, I, am I too into shoes? Okay, what? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's not anything that you did or didn't do. It just, it just is. Sucks. You know what? Look, I, I need you to tell me. We're going out in public for the first time. Does this look fake? Yes, it looks fake, because it's a tube sock. I can see it. I prefer the term boob sock. Right. Why don't you try something smaller? You know, like uh, underwear or a scarf? How about a single silk scarf, Lana Turner style? Okay, I like it. Do you want to see it? My scar? I don't know. Great. Now nobody's going to want to ever see it. Okay, and now you're guilting me about seeing it, so show it to me. No, you don't get to see my horribly disfiguring scar. Okay, this is so, so not a game I want to play. Show it to me. It's ugly, right? And please don't say, Linda, nothing about you could ever be ugly. Um, it's... Well? Well? <laughs> it's not pretty. But we all have scars. One of yours is visible now. Well, not for long. I'm gonna go see Dr. Gina Portofino. She's gonna pump me up. My first fill. Sounds exciting. You wanna put some pants on first? Hello, Linda. Oh, thanks. Shall we get started? like her. <laughs> You'll be very popular. I'll be right here waiting, reading the American Journal of Medicine. I've got some catching up to do. <laughs> okay. She'll be here any minute. How are we supposed to act? We act normal. <laughs> right. Like you're going to be able to act normal? Because it's not normal. She had her breast removed, I mean, I mean, is it going to be like totally gone? I mean, is anything even going to be <laughs> yeah, there? Yeah, no, it's gone. And she's getting a new one. 
weird. Look, look, she's, she's been through a rough time, but she's doing well and she's coming back to work. Now, you, you just, just be the boys that she relies on and loves. Don't act differently. Just be yourself. <clears throat> hey, hey! Oh, oh. Gentle hugging. Oh, oh, I'm just a little sore, I'm okay. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Aren't you gonna say anything? Hi, Linda. How are you? I'm fine, Juan. Uh, come on, Chico, it's still me. Welcome back, honey. Thank you. Oh, do we have a client coming? Did I space? No, um, we thought maybe you might want to eat something. Since when do you get me a tray of pastries and and a selection of, of flavored coffees from Kona? I mean, come on. I, you know, he thought it would be a good idea. It is nice, thanks. But can we just get back to work, okay? Oh, I'll just uh, take the cookies, thanks. So catch me up, what's going on? Well, I'd like you to take a look at this. It's, it's the Manning show. It's, it's difficult, you see, he's very unique. But I'm not entirely sold on these latest pieces. I'll have to take a closer look. Rather you than me. <laughs> I think I'd better go and have lunch and do the puzzle. You witch, I can't help that. Are you going to stand there all day? Uh, <clears throat> I am the sick girl. Excuse me. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you. I can't. I don't want to be the sick girl. You don't need to prove anything to anyone. No, actually, I do. Yeah, everyone... He was coddling me today. Mastectomy etiquette. Mastectomy what? It's a common issue. No one knows how to act. You have to set the rules. More often than not, those closest to the person who has gone through the illness are trepidatious around them, not knowing how to act. You have to set the tone, thereby letting them know that you're okay and that you're still you. And your relationships have not changed. What the hell was that? Did it sound rehearsed? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I've been reading a lot. I can't help myself. I'm compulsive. Freak show. Thanks for the info. Look, I need, I need help dealing with this. Well, why don't you try a support group? You know, I read online that no. there's... I'm not gonna be that girl, that girl in the room complaining to a bunch of women. No. What's the matter with you? You have cancer. It's not like you went in for a tummy tuck. It's okay to feel it. Thank you, Dr. Phil. Okay. No, you know, I need, I need something a little less intellectual and, and a little more physical. Yeah, I, I need a man. I need to know that I'm, I'm still sexy. Uh, what about that guy, Jacques? No, no. No, I, I'm not into him. <laughs> really? All right, he's great, okay? But no, just, I'm not gonna call him, okay? So just drop it. Okay, dropped. Completely and utterly dropped. <sighs> that's not a man, that's a snack. Well, I got the munchies. <laughs> I'd like to say you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> there too. But listen, there's this awesome man playing downtown tonight. Now they're totally vintage, but like, still total metal. Uh, like Metallica. Metallica is vintage. Uh, wow, I'm vintage, and uh, you're a baby. Uh, you know. Um, I, it's been great. Uh, I, this, uh, I know, I know, this, this is nuts. I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, thanks, so, um, um, bye. 100 days, 100 nights, to know a man's heart. 100 days, 100 nights.
the chemo is um is taking its toll on my family now too, you know. My son sat outside the bathroom door while I was vomiting. okay to be a little vulnerable you you're going through you've been through a lot is this the cancer chat errol because i don't want the cancer chat i just want to be normal again i want my old self back she's gone you've had cancer you're changed experiences whatever they may be they change us and we have to let them you're not the girl that you were a few months ago. Now go through the tunnel, not around it. I hate being this. I hate this crying. I'm such a girl. Look, showing human emotion is not a weakness. And men do it too. Big men. Older men. Devastatingly handsome men. I'm scared, Errol. And I can't talk to my mother, and I can't talk to my friends, because they'll freak out. <laughs> what if it comes back? What if... What if I die? You are young and strong, and you're gonna win. You got it? I'll take this. Take the day. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, listen, I gotta be honest. I don't know much about art, but uh, I gotta buy some. <laughs> oh, well, I think we can help with that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you see, I've moved into a new apartment, and uh, I... Well, I just really, really need to make it my own. I saw a piece that I really admired at a friend's house. He said he bought it here, so here I am, huh? What I'm looking for is, um... Actually, I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> I have to tell you the truth. But I have a lot of wall space. It's just me, and uh, I guess that means I can choose what I like. Well, my manager's, uh, she's tied up just at the moment. So, uh, why don't I help? I'm Errol Sager. My name's Guy DeMeo. Oh, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, look around, and uh, I'll go get you one of our latest catalogs. Right, thank you. I gotta get out of here. Oh, God. Guy, actually. I, I was just leaving. Oh. Oh, I see. Um, well, I won't stop you. Even though... Theoretically, I guess I could stop you. You know, I could be like a uh, mime. I could make a wall. It'd be incredibly dorky, but I could do that, and then you wouldn't be able to get by. I don't want to play. I see that. All right. All right. Off you go. <laughs> incredibly disappointed, though. Did you meet? Linda, uh, my manager? Actually, no. No, I didn't. So, how are you feeling? <sighs> like I have almost one and a half breasts. How's the pain, one to ten? Fifty-seven. We'll get you something for that. Now, it may be a little hard at first. I know. I keep thinking it's gonna get easier, and it just... I, I mean the breast. You might want to massage it a bit. And there's something else. I can hardly wait. It's not common, but the breasts might migrate upwards. I thought birds migrate, now breasts. This is a lot. I know. I'm sorry. You know, 
You can call me anytime. Now let's get started on your next film. She's young, she's single. It's an adjustment, I get it. The thing is, she's fighting it. Fighting the emotion of it, the depth of what's happened to her. She's bound to crash if she hasn't already. It's a lot to deal with. I know. I've been there. Ugh. I remember. <laughs> what? Do you want to do that in public? I'll do it anywhere I damn please. What, are you going to say anything? Don't you have some clever, witty retort? You're looking for a fight, and I'm not going to give it to you. Pass the pot stickers, please. <clears throat> I think we should all just try to enjoy our meal here. Easy for you to say. You have two real breasts. Oh, sweetie. Here, look, have some tea, sweetie. It'll calm you down. I don't need to be calmed down. I don't want to be calmed down. Look, I have to yell. And I need to massage my breasts, and I don't want to drink tea. I have cancer, and I can't pretend like everything's okay when it's not. Linda, wait. I said wait. Your illness does not give you license to act like a crazy person. Why not? How dare you tell me how I can and cannot act? Your mother and I didn't deserve that. This isn't about you. This is about me. The girl with cancer. The girl with one breast. The girl who's never going to meet a guy or get married and have a family because she's damaged, not normal, has cancer. Please, end up. Go see someone. I'll find them for you if you want. You need to talk about this with someone other than me. You need help in dealing with this situation, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. And you are gonna have all those things you are. You said you weren't gonna let this take over your life. Don't let it. Too late. Strings play like birds and Flying over the ocean we named I look up to see you in Miss Eden's no, garden Well, uh, I can't deal with this right now. Can you take care of it, please? Okay, I'll call you back. Hello, beautiful. Hey. Yeah, so please, the girl who doesn't call back. I'm so glad to see you. I needed that. Okay, come, come. Let me get you a drink. Au revoir, deux verres. Please. It's just dealing with unpleasantries. Hello. How are you doing? Ah, well, um... Actually, this is a little weird. Mm -hmm. I... I just... I needed someone to talk... Someone who doesn't know me that well. Oh, so you thought of me? I thought of you. Okay, my lucky day. Mm -hmm. I'm all yours. Here you go. Merci. Mm -hmm. Santé. Are you going to answer that? Oh, no, no. Let's talk. Is that business or...? It's my wife. Your wife. Oui. <laughs> My oldest son, Eric, the one who just appeared. He, he refuses to talk about it. He doesn't want to deal at all. Like, he shuts down, he, he closes off, that's it. He 
you, have you tried giving him some material he can read on his own? You know, uh, he might not feel so emotional if it's not one to one. <laughs> no, no, honey. If it's not on some kind of like electronic thing, he ain't reading it. Like, <laughs> can I put it on his phone or, or put it on some tiny little screen or something? Because otherwise, he ain't interested. <laughs> I know. It's just it's gonna um, take some time. I'm just not sure how much time we got. This stage four thing ain't for sissies. <laughs> and not one of you ladies has commented on the new wig. Oh, I like it better the redhead. I mean, that color is kind of bland. It doesn't, it doesn't let your eyes sparkle. I can oh. like it. OK, all right. The girl tells the truth. Thank you. Oh, hey, what happened to what's his name? Josh. Oh, yeah? He finally spent the night. Oh, good. Oh. two things. I've still got her at 50. Him, not so much. <laughs> What's so funny? We're always so worried about ourselves, how people are going to look at us, how we perform. I rocked, he sucked. <laughs> Marcy? They don't know if they're going to have time to harvest my eggs before I have to have chemo. It's going to make me sterile. It might make you sterile. There's a 50-50 chance. It's going to make me go through menopause. It might induce premature menopause. I want to have babies. Huh? You're too young for this hateful thing to happen to you. We all are. We're too damn young. Well, you don't need an invitation, huh? Speak up. Um. I'm sorry for what you're all going through. I, I feel guilty even being here, but you know, I, I'm lucky because I don't need to have chemotherapy or radiation. I, I just have to, I, I'm gonna have. Fake breasts? <laughs> and you wanna know about sex? <laughs> Look, whatever you wanna talk about is fine. Mm. Nothing is superficial. We have cancer, so. Talk about whatever you want. I've had a double mastectomy, stage two. Dense dose, chemotherapy, radiation. I worked right through it. 20 grand. <laughs> I expensed it. <laughs> I have fake breasts, and they're good. I don't have to wear a bra. Is there something that you'd like to talk about, Linda? That's just it. You know, I, I don't feel like I have anyone I can talk to. I have great people in my life, you know, my best friend, my mother, my coworkers, but I just feel like I want to kill everybody, yeah. you know? Like I'm going to explode, like, yeah. and, I, and I don't know where this anger is coming from. Because your life was interrupted. You had a plan and God put you on a timeout. Nobody likes a timeout. I hate that when I'm, I'm in a restaurant or walking down the street, everyone seems so carefree, you know, happy, alive. You're alive, sugar. And we all are. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, but I, I know what she's talking about. I mean, I don't feel so alive lately either. The chemotherapy has literally zapped me. I mean, I could just lie down and take a nap anytime, anywhere, you know, at work, hell, a movie. All I want to do is nap. Oh, to a friggin' nap, okay? <laughs> and the hair thing is like... Bald is the new blonde. <laughs> hey. I know you. You do? Yeah. Um, we went to camp together. I'm Nicole Banning, and you are Linda from Cabin 6. No way. Isn't Are you wild? That's so crazy. Oh, wow. Do you still have that rock and Barbie doll collection? I, I can't believe it. You don't have any insurance at all? No, I'm a poet, which translates to waitress, which in turn means no insurance. Not that insurance always helps, like many women. I had to leave the hospital the morning after my surgery. Drive through mastectomy. It was messed up. Can't your parents help? Yeah, they got divorced. I split. 
was bad. I'm sorry. They know you're, um... No. <laughs> it's rough, man. I mean, this thing levels you. And then everything sort of falls away, and you're left with a lot of things that you don't understand and you can't work through. Group's a good thing, though. You must be so strong. I don't know about all that. Would you be my cancer friend? <laughs> Only if you give up that Malibu Barbie. <gasps> Absolutely not. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's make up. Maybe after I suck up for a little while. Is it a lot, eh? One sugar, extra foam. Oh, I can't believe I was such a bitch. I mean, I know people say that a lot that they really can't help it, but I honestly couldn't. I've missed you. What have you been doing? His name is Nick. Good name. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Well, not all good. Not a smart man. Good work counts. Carla, I'm really sorry. Me too. But you gotta know, I'm not the enemy. I'm your friend. I have a new friend, a cancer friend. Ah, you like her better than me, don't you? Never. No, we actually went to camp together, and he, maybe come out tonight and you can meet her. Oh, I gotta run. Errol's got a big new client coming in. Linda. Yeah. You look great. Really. I only have one more appointment with Dr. Gina. You wanna see? Ta-da! <laughs> Let's just hope it doesn't migrate upward during the meeting. <laughs> see ya. Oh, she was braver than she knew. Braver than I would have been. I couldn't tell if it was real or not. She was just trying to get through it. One breast at a time. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's, sorry. Guys, can you help me with this? Hey, you okay? Yeah, I, I will be, it just hurts. Yeah, come on, come on, sit down, sit down. I'm fine, okay, okay? Yeah, take a minute. You need anything? I'm, I'm fine. I'm not an invalid, okay? I, I just need those switched around. Sure. Okay. Oh, good morning. Well, Claudia is Linda, Phantom Manager. Nice to see you again. You caught me in an awkward moment. I'm sorry. I see. Well, I, uh, I hope this is a better moment. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. How long? 35 years. <laughs> All right, maybe it's more like a couple of months, but... Uh... Well, uh, I have some great pieces to show you. I, it would help to know the artists you like. You know, Errol and I believe that it's important to know the client's taste. Okay, let's see. Uh, I like Caravaggio. I'm not buying one for my apartment. Well, that says something about you. Really? It's impressive. Go on. You like deep colors and contrasts. You're interested in light and movement. Uh, you're not afraid of something large in scope and profound in meaning. And maybe, just maybe, you're a murderer. Wow. Okay, you are good. But just because Caravaggio murdered somebody does not mean I necessarily will. Of course I could. You know, I'm very tough and obviously masculine, but uh, I'm a pilot, not a fighter. Of course, I could be a fighter pilot, I guess. So, uh, who are some of your favorite contemporary artists? You see, that's kind of difficult because I'm not sure my favorite artists would necessarily fit with my apartment. Who says it has to fit with your apartment? The decorator fairy? Linda, I am a single straight male. I don't have a decorator. Well, uh, let me be the one to tell you that maybe you should think for yourself. Okay. 
I'll try to remember that. I mean, if you can't think for yourself, I can't help you. Okay, then. Okay. Okay. I don't know what was the matter with me. I mean, we were talking about art and Caravaggio, and I'm pretty sure he was flirting, but, you know, I did this thing. I, I was rude. I think I was just flustered. That's a good feeling. Go for it. I can't. You haven't known our friend Linda for a while. The last time you saw her, she was probably a virgin. Well, she was 11, so that would be hopefully. Yeah, well, there you go. But for her to say she's not going to go for it, it's not like her. What's up with that? I don't know. He was smart and funny and gorgeous, and I, my self-confidence is shot. I just froze. It's like I saw a potential, and I ran the other direction. And there's the whole cancer etiquette thing. I mean. How do you tell someone? When do you tell them? How do you even start? Well, look, I have a boyfriend, so I don't have to really deal with all this, but <clears throat> I know what I would do if I were you. I would go back to the bench. An old boyfriend. It's easy, you're comfortable, you don't have to get to know each other. It all works. She is so right. I've known her for an hour, and I love the cancer friend. You know, it's funny. Old boyfriends are like donuts. You know they're bad for you, but every once in a while, you just gonna have one. <laughs> I was crazy about Linda from the minute I saw her. I mean, she broke my heart, that girl. She just broke it wide open. So she calls, <laughs> I jump, you know? There's no way after five years I'm gonna miss a chance to see her. She's the one that, she's the one that got away. Will you like to watch the sunrise? Will you have blue or brown eyes? What are the dreams you Hi. Hi. You look sexy. You look. Mm. So? Why'd you call me after all this time? Aren't you glad I did? She should have told me. I mean, right there. Look, I know what she was doing, and a girl does need to protect herself, but I don't know. I think she should have told him that first day. That's all I got. I'm sticking to it. First time I had sex after my surgery was with my husband of 30 years. I don't envy her having to date, having to expose herself physically, emotionally to someone who has yet to know how she likes her coffee, what section of the paper she wants to read first on a Sunday. I, uh, I don't envy her at all. Linda owes this guy nothing, nada. I mean, it's not like she doesn't care about him, she does, but she needs him for something specific. And I think we all know what I'm referring to. Wondering where you are. You ordered a pizza? I mean, look, what guy's not up for getting a little from an ex girlfriend? And come on, it works both ways. Thank God it's you. You expecting somebody else? No. Get in here. <laughs> Man, that pizza guy might have the thrill of his life. Yeah, he was looking pretty friendly. I can't believe he got to see you in this before I did. Well, he didn't see me out of it. You want to help? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Um, wait a sec. I don't know if I can. No, just please. No, really, I don't know if I can. Wait, I, I have to tell you something. I have a five-year-old kid. Um. No. I've been sick. Right. It's fine. It's going around. Not, no, not that kind. Um, I have cancer. I had cancer. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I had a really hard time for a while, but, but I'm clean now, and I'm, I'm clean. What kind of cancer? Breast cancer. I had a mastectomy. Um, I 
had reconstruction. That's good. Uh, I don't get it. I mean, you're you're telling me about this now. I'm feeling a little ambushed here. I mean, you couldn't have told me this sooner, or I, I didn't know how, I, or when. I didn't know how you'd react. Not well. I'm. I'm sorry, really, but um, I can't. I can't deal with this. I mean, I'm I'm crazy about you. I am, but I don't know. This weirds me out. It weirds you out that yeah. I have cancer. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't want to weird you out like I'm some circus freak. Just go. Go, get out of here. didn't happen with Jamie. I am so mortified. I'm going under. <laughs> Will you just tell us what happened, please? Oh, would you shower first? Nice. No, really, you need to shower. <laughs> What's in the bag? Burgers, fries, shakes, and presents. You have me at burgers. I mean, to think that I'd still be attractive to a guy. I get what I deserve. I'm like the elephant girl. OK, come on. You're missing the truth here. You were attractive to him. He just freaked when you told him about the cancer, right? He did want you before the cancer chat. Yeah, that kills it. Grant and I still haven't had sex. I know. <laughs> it's bad. What are you talking about? I don't really want to talk about it. I don't want to have sex. With Grant, I just, can we just talk about you? Wait, Nick. Please. Please. That's it. I'm just never going to have sex again. I, I'm going to be like this, this human torch uh, cruising around Boston looking for a guy to have sex with. It is not pretty, ladies. <laughs> what? Why are you smiling at my pathetic life? Because I have a little gift for you. For those feeling like a human torch and nothing to do about it moments. No, you didn't. Oh my God. I can't believe you got me this. This is fascinating. <laughs> Did it come with a car charger? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I've just, I've never seen one of these up close before. What? Wait, you've never had one? No. OK, come on. Nope. But I can't accept it. Can I ask why? Because if I owned that, I don't know what reason I would have to ever leave my house. That would be all I would need, except for maybe an occasional lobster. <laughs> really? Uh, I got you a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you. OK, wait. What about online dating? Oh, really? One boo big heart seeks guy to have sex with. I think you have a lot of takers. 
Look, guys, I gotta run. I got a meeting with the foundation that gives money to artists who are ill, and that's me. Ill artists. That's great. Uh, not the ill part. Mm -hmm. Bye. I get it. Bills are piling up, though. Hundred grand so far. What? What? I swear, I don't know how you function. Well, there are always obstacles, Lynn. You know, the truth is, we're all given exactly as much as we can handle. And the trick is to remember that it's just traffic, something in our way, something we have to get past. <laughs> I know, look, I'm a poet. It comes with the territory. I don't know about you, but I am totally turned on right now. Say, I don't quite understand that whole intercom date. Uh, right, internet dating thing. But I said to her, I said, Linda, if that's what it takes to make you feel good about you, well, that's all that matters. <laughs> it's your journey, sweetie. Have some fun, I told her. Let him buy dinner, flirt, get back in the game. Look, you meet a few losers, and then maybe. Just maybe, one you connect with. All you need is one. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> you fall off a horse. Okay, it's a big, friggin' cancer-ridden horse, but you gotta get out there. I'm in boxes, so you know, shipping is my bread and butter. Franchising is an option, I could branch out. Unintended. But I do well, I'm comfortable. I drive a Lexus. I'm no Bob Gates or anything, but you know. Bill. Bill Gates. Sure, but I do okay. Do you want to split it? I think she's wonderful. Yeah, she's hot. Nice rack. I met the artist. And that, my friend, is the Virgin Mary, and you just called her hot. Very nice rack. How are you? Your name is Scott. Isn't yours? <laughs> no. Mine is. Come on. Please. I don't know. But I do. We're going to have the chocolate, chocolate molten cake with ice cream. Smart man. I had a really nice time. Me too. So you think we can do it again? Yeah, definitely. This is me. That's some car. Isn't it? Did you want to? Good night. Your symmetry is good. You should just continue to improve. Will they ever match? Am I going to be known as lopsided Linda? No, they're not going to match completely. But you've healed nicely. Thank you, Dr. Portofino. You're so welcome. So we're done. Yes, ma'am, we are. Hey there. Hi. Holy. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you. That means a lot. How you doing? I mean... Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm okay. I'm pretty good. I, uh, I've been thinking about you a lot. I'm sorry I didn't call. I just I've been meaning yeah. to... I'm not surprised. I was pretty cavalier when I... Uh... Oh, dumped me? Yeah. <laughs> Look, uh, this karma thing really kind of sucks. I got the ultimate beating by the humble sick. 
Where are you headed? I have an appointment with an artist. You want to have dinner with me? What's that? What does that mean? A little head tilt. Is that code for something? Or what is that? You want to have dinner with Cancer Girl who dumped you? Yes. Yes, I do. Pick up at seven? Sure. How do you even spell power broker on a license plate? I don't remember, because that's why I saw the flames. I literally couldn't speak. <laughs> so you just took off on it? I thought it was best. So, uh, are you seeing anyone? Uh, no. No, I kind of not have an issue. Nothing serious, I hope. Maybe. See, I'm kind of hung up on the girl with down me. Say, no talking, then. Want to skip dinner? I'm flying a cloud to the other side of the world. I'm guided by the stars above a whisper in my ear. I feel the kind of lonely. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm all for ripping the clothes off and everything, but I'm just a little sore still. Very gentle. <laughs> Perfect. Way to go. Really? I kind of like a light off. Really? The light stays on. It might be easier with me on top. Less pain. I kind of like the pain, so. <laughs> <laughs> you like the pain, huh? Oh, yes. Does that hurt? <laughs> Here they come. I am so not buying this. Uh, this is just really very... Yes, very. Something is amiss. Yeah, she's just way too bouncy. What's with the picnic? I hate picnics. So oh, very annoying. Mm. Come on over! Oh, this is so great! I love picnics! There's a great spot. By that tree. I never thought this would happen. Which part? I don't know. Are you where you thought you'd be in life? Sometimes. I mean, I thought I'd be doing something more exciting at this point. What about marriage? Yeah, that's not a big priority for me. Well, I think about it a lot now. You never used to, you know, before. You wanted to be free. You wanted to sow those oats, maybe. I know, but things are different now. And I, I am terrified of being alone and sick. I mean, what if this cancer comes back? I, I don't want to do it alone. I don't want that. You have me. Is that why you went back to Kevin? No. Are you gonna marry him? You better think long and hard before you do that, Linda. Long and hard. You know, Carla, there's a hell of a lot to be said for security. And sometimes it's okay to settle for something reliable.
Linda, you want a salad? Lynn. Hmm? Salad? Oh, um, sure. That'd be great. I'm just so happy. You know, I never, I never realized how much I could rely on Kevin. He is such a good guy, a good friend, you know? Excuse me there, happy girl. But I don't think friend is the word I want to describe the man I'm sleeping with. <laughs> sometimes we need a friend. Yeah, well, sometimes we need a man. Yeah. <laughs> and you think the two are mutually exclusive? Uh, can I button here a sec, people? Uh, I don't think they have to be, but I do think in your case, Linda, this isn't a good thing with Kevin, and I think you know it, too. What do you know about it? You've been living with Grant for six years. You're in a relationship. You're safe. You're never safe, Linda. Has this not taught you that? A man can't give you safety. You need to be okay with yourself to be safe. And even then, it's not enough. And what do you even know about my relationship? You never even asked me about it. Oh, Just because someone's in a relationship, wait. it doesn't mean they don't need to talk about no, it. No, 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 no. Oh. I have asked you. You didn't want to talk about it. Oh, this is getting good. I made a mistake with Grant, Linda. It's a partnership. We're basically roommates. Don't do that, Linda. Don't. Hey, ma'am, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry. I'm all about the passion. I have some very good news. Marcy has been successfully harvested. <laughs> We should all say a prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you let yourself go? Is it starting to show? Can you trust your feelings anymore? Say the letter. I have been up all night, <laughs> hence the feast. Um, this isn't where you want to be. I know that. Uh, Kevin, I'm... No, please. <laughs> Let me do this one. <clears throat> be much easier on my self-esteem in the long run. If I can just break up with you. Please. <clears throat> I love you, and you love me, but not in that way, and I need to be loved in that way, and as much as I wish it was you, I know that's not going to happen. So let's break open a blueberry muffin, we'll have some breakfast, and say goodbye. May I examine this work in peace, crazy lady? Sorry. I like it all. These the slides you showed me, but don't you think it's a little, you know, um, for us? Hep. Oh, hep. That's a good one. I, I, I really think that these artists are really interesting and, and different. And I know it's not what we typically show, but I think I'm ready to curate my own show. And I've been working really hard, and I've, hey, I, I've... Hey, you don't have to convince me, Linda. Have your show. Make it a party. Find some groovy hep caterer ah. who will charge me a fortune. Errol, you know, I just might be back. I think you're right. Hey, uh, are we still on for the game tonight? Yeah, I'll call Mike from the deli. 
Something shifted in that last couple of weeks. She was coming out of it. <laughs> and it was great. It was like she'd seen the light at the end of the tunnel and she was charging right at it. She has so much to offer, that girl. My hope is that someday she believes it. Are we gonna play poker, people, or what? Hey, I just heard from Mikey. He's out. Sucks. I think I'm gonna pour myself a drink. First one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Linda. Yeah? A guy named Guy. Let him in. Hey, come on. I, I didn't know you guys were close. I was just uh, walking by. That's not like a complete lie. This guy brings some money? Actually, I did. Yeah, I'll play. You got a seat. But uh, I got to warn you now, I will take your money, if that's OK. Have a seat. You ain't taking jack, buddy. You see that? But I'm afraid I raise to eight. Because uh, that's the way I roll. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, man. If he's got a hand, he's good. Oh, it's a heck of a lot better than you two. I can promise you that. OK, well, I'll uh, see your bluffing ass, and I'll raise you four. I'm bluffing. She's the one who's trying to buy the pot, my friend. We raise. What you got, boys? I'm so pot committed, I'm not going to let you buy this. Full. What do you got? Two pair. Trip tens. Oh, trip tens. Very nice. Beautiful, sexy, and too cool to bluff. OK, I see how it's going to be. Don't forget to set that alarm. Oh, yeah, because I'm new at this. I got you. Good night. Good night. Hey, where are you headed? Uh, home. Yeah? Can I walk with you? I'm taking a break, actually. From walking? <sighs> From dating. You're a funny guy, guy. Oh, I have never, ever heard that one before. That's a good one. By the way, we're walking. Um, and now we're stopping. Sorry, I took your money. You seem to be the kind of person who likes to be in control all the time. Yeah, guess I am. How's that working for you? Uh, you don't know anything. Why don't you tell me? Like, all right. Good luck with that break. What can I say? I, I was confused. He's a good guy, and I think I blew it. No, I blew it. I came as fast as I could. What is this all about? Good things, my friend. Good things. Oh. But first, I'm sorry. Oh, me too. I was insensitive, self-absorbed, not as good a friend as I could have been. Short-sighted. <laughs> Look, it's over. We're good. Here's my news. I got insurance. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And more important, I left Grant. Are you okay? I am. I love him. But not enough. And there's more. <laughs> I got a publisher to publish my first book of essays. <laughs> to you? Yeah. <laughs> Since when are you writing a book of essays? Well, easier to get published than poetry. Oh, hey, and I'm doing a video to go along with it. Wow. What are these essays about? Uh, survival, cancer, loss, friendship. Inspired by the fact that sometimes even the worst things bring the best along with them. 
gonna cry. Up, nope, save it for the book party. Cry when I do a reading, it'll boost sales. Oh. Nice show. Mm -hmm. Dress up, wear heels, sequin head scarf, the whole thing. Wow, are you nervous about it? You know what I've learned through all this? Besides that fake nipples exist? <laughs> that fear is crap. I mean, I, I really hope that I stay healthy. But fear is a waste of my precious time. Oh, I have something else. Malibu Barbie. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but still very hot. Go cinnamon. Go cinnamon. <laughs> You hate me now, is that it? I can never hate you, Jamie. I'll bet you she will. Thanks. So you really think so, huh? Oh, please, stop being so modest. Your show is fantastic, and you know it. Yeah, I have to say, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Yeah, so go mingle some stuff. All right. See? Marcy, hi. Second year we have embryos. Yes, we do. Who knows, maybe in a year we'll be able to start our family. Mm. Well, maybe you'll think of naming one after Tawny. I'm sure she would have loved that. Have fun tonight, guys. Thanks. Hey. Hey. You didn't tell me there'd be so many good-looking men around here. Oh, really? I brought this one. Oh. Hi. There's a stair at 12 o'clock. Ah. Oh, and he's got a date. Hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. More than ever, I am retiring. But if you should need help running this place, you should always remember there is a phone on my boat. You make me proud. Oh. Hey, how are you? It's great, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Dodge that bullet. What, Kevin? Hmm. Kevin's a good guy. In fact, he's a great guy. He's just not the one for me. Huh? But don't look. That's Guy. That's him. Oh. It's kind of a stud English professor thing going on. Mm. You can wear your schoolgirl outfit. <laughs> oh, he's coming. What? Hello, Lynn. Hello, Guy. Um, you and your girlfriend enjoying the show? It's, uh... Yeah, well, you know, um... It doesn't matter. I'm taking a break, right? Cheers. Cheers. No, I, I can't leave my party. Oh, I think you can. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get your coat. I'm trying to talk to you all evening. Fine. I'm here. What do you want to talk about? Linda, I understand that you're on a break, okay? But I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. So, would you please have dinner with me? Sure. Girlfriend coming? Well, that's my sister. But, uh, yeah, I could probably ask if you'd like. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I have cancer. I had a mastectomy. Nice. Wow. So, Linda. No. No. Don't do the poor sick girl feel sorry for her grab her arm thing. Look, I'm fine. I'm great. Linda, I would never think of you as the sick girl, all right? You know, maybe the slightly tipsy girl. You okay? know what? I'm that, and, and, and I'm just putting it out there now. I, I, 
it's it's me. It, it's it's part of who I am, but it, it it doesn't define me. But it's 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 me, and I've I've, I've what what is it? I've had too much to drink. Tofu scramble. Ugh. Kidding. Look, bagel and cream cheese and a diet soda. Thank you. See, mom knows you better than you think. How are you feeling, sweetie? Ugh, like I made a total fool of myself, oh. but I said what I needed to say. Doesn't mean I'm not completely embarrassed. Am I fired? Well, Errol called about an hour ago. Looks like you sold every single piece in the show. So no, you're not fired. I think he's gonna retire this afternoon. Oh, oh that's loud. Here. Your hangover rescue team has arrived. Guys, thank you. They're not from us. Errol. What did he say? Not Errol. Guy. How long is your break going to last? I'm patient. I'll wait. Who wants tofu scramble? Oh, brilliant, oh, brilliant, bravo, bravo. Not now, now. I'm, I'm gonna kill you. I just want some quiet and some coffee. <laughs> You're cute drug. Kinda slutty, you know? I'm good, I'm fine, I'm fearless. Is this how you people talk to each other when I'm not here? It's nice to see everything's back to status quo. Now get back to work, boys. Oh, you too, not Errol. yet, chica. So, Guy, thank you for the flowers. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I was worried that my card might have given you the wrong message. You see, uh, well, it turns out I'm not as patient as I thought. <laughs> At all. No idea what you're talking about. Nonsense, come on. Uh, yes, I'm going out with him. <sighs> I can't believe you guys. Where was I before this all happened? Well, I thought I had it all figured out, that, that life was gonna be I was in charge. Boy, was I wrong. I had no idea. I had no idea. I'm not saying I'm happy that this happened to me, but God, I'm, I'm also not unhappy that it did. You know, before my diagnosis, the only thing I was certain of was that I, I was never going to let anything happen to me. And, you know, like a big, huge stick of dynamite was thrown into the mix and that idea was gone forever. Life isn't easy. And, you know, uh, sometimes it really hurts, but it's all worth it in the end. And you know what else? Sexy is not just in the physical. Before, I, I was so vain. I think we all are. And with all that's happened, you know, I feel, I feel sexy, sexier even, better. And I'm totally sleeping with Guy and he makes me feel fantastic. Is that okay? Cut. Yeah, I think we got it. Mm. You 
didn't hear that last part, did you? I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> no, come here. Not really. 